This is Q13 News at 9. A flood of ballots. Election officials say they're seeing a staggering uptick in votes, more than in previous years, much more. And tonight we're hearing from voters on why they're casting their ballots. It's basically what our life looks like. A lot of tears, computer, and um, devastation and loneliness. Parents in the Peninsula School District are reeling after learning last week students have to go back to remote. But tonight, the district has some surprising good news. That's one of the key messages is that stress is a normal response in your body. It's training that's being compared to CPR and first aid. But this community-based program is focusing on mental health. On that program and how you can sign up. We're seeing a new trend this year. More people are ditching the post office to return their ballot at a local election box. About four years ago, ballot drop box returns made up about 20% of the votes. Currently, officials say about 70% of ballots are coming from drop boxes. A big change. And 1Q13's AJ Janivel went out today to talk directly to voters to find out the reason why. We're going to have that for you coming up. Well, we are just six days away from the election, and we want to inform you about the biggest races and issues facing our country and our communities. You may have noticed sex ed is on the ballot and whether school districts should be required to teach it for all grade levels. Q13's Matt Lorch is here now to clear up any confusion and try to help you understand what's really at stake. This has really been the statewide ballot issue that has everyone talking. It's referendum 90. So first, let's eliminate any confusion about what your vote actually means. If you vote approve, you want to approve a bill that's already been passed by lawmakers in Olympia and signed by Governor Inslee. It mandates every public school district in this state teach sexual health education to all students. Now, if you vote reject, you want to reject that bill. You do not want to require the lessons to be taught, giving more control to local districts to decide what is best for their students. The